हेलो स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई एम अरुण सर वेलकम टू माय चैनल ट्यूशन एक्सपर्ट टुडे इन दिस क्लास आई विल टीच यू सम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एवरग्रीन प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर नीट एंड जेई मेन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अबाउट द क्लास सेकंड हैंड इन वॉच लीच वन सेंटीमीटर The change in velocity of its tip in 15 second is I repeat the problem once again. The length of a second hand in watch. I repeat the problem once again. The length of a second hand in watch is one centimeter. The change in velocity of its tip in 15 second is what? So if this is watch, this is 12 o'clock, 15 here. This now the length of a second hand rotates in. One minute, that is 16 seconds. So one complete circle is 360 degree. That is 2 pi. 2 pi angle rotates in one minute 60 second. So in 60 second, in 60 second, distance travelled by second hand by second hand equal to what? Distance equal to two pi into r. R equal to what? R suppose r one centimeter. Here one centimeter. This is the sixty seconds. So in one second, one second distance travel equal to two pi into one by sixty. This is centimeter per second. This is the we call this is the speed. That is velocity at every moment. Magnitude of the velocity. That is this is the speed or magnitude of the velocity. मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेलोसिटी और स्पीड स्पीड इक्वल टू दिस नाउ द चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ इट्स स्टीप द सपोज द सेकंड हैंड इज एट हियर हियर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वेलोसिटी हियर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेलोसिटी इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके एंड व्हेन इट इज इन 15 सेकंड 15 सेकंड द सेकंड हैंड कम्स एट हियर एंड Here the velocity direction is direction of the velocity is at here, so speed is remain same. Now the change of velocity equal to change of velocity. We know velocity is a vector quantity, so change of velocity equal to del v equal to suppose this is we know suppose take this along x-axis that is unit vector i. And this is along y-axis unit vector j. So change of velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity. Now what is the final velocity? Final velocity we call v j minus initial velocity is v i. Okay. This is change of velocity. Now magnitude of change of velocity equal to what? Root over v square plus v square, which is equal to root over two v, which is equal to root over two v. V means this. Giving this two pi by sixty centimeter per second. So so root two pi by thirty. This is the answer. Understand? Water drops fall at regular intervals from a depth five meter above 
the ground, the third drop is leaving, leaving the tap. By instant, the first drop, first drop touches the ground, touches the ground, how far above the ground, the ground is the second drop. the second drop at that instant at that instant take g equal to 10 1 to 5 meter i repeat the problem once again water drops i repeat the problem I repeat the problem once again, water drop fall at regular intervals from a tap 5 meter above the ground. The third drop is leaving the tap, the instant when the first drop touches the ground. How far above the ground is the second drop at that instant? G equal to this. Now, the problem is, suppose this is a tap, tap, this is a ground, this is a ground. Now, suppose, First drop uh, given the uh, distance between top, distance between tab and ground is 5 meter. This is given in a t second. In t second, what is the distance travel? Distance travel x1 equal to half g t square because u equal to 0. Now, in second, in t second, now in next t second. In next t second, what is the distance travel? In next t second, what is the distance travel? Total distance travel in 2 t second that is half g into 2 t whole square minus half g into t square because distance travel in 2 t second minus distance travel in t second equal to distance travel in next t second. Okay, so this is equal to g t square common. 2 minus half which is equal to 3 by 2 g t square okay so what is the ratio ratio becomes x1 is to x2 equal to we get 1 is to 3 if next t second distance travel will be 1 a 1 is to 3 is to 5 so distance travel by successive t seconds equal to 1 in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 this will be the ratio here we have to consider um, successive first two seconds first distance is x1 and if this distance is x2 x2 equal to 5 equal to total distance 5 and time interval we take the time interval between two successive drop drops b t now that is after after every t second one drop emits so this this if this drop first drop travel for 2 t second then this drops travel for t second now so the distance this will be actually this and x1 and this, this x2 this, this, x2 becomes more than x1 so if first drop travels for 2t second then second drop travels for t second because time interval between two successive drops be t second so we get x1 plus x2 equal to 5 now what is the ratio x1 is to x2 equal to 1 is to 3 that is x1 plus x2 x2 becomes x1 by x2 equal to 1 by 3 so x2 becomes 3x1 so 3x1 equal to 5 that is 4x1 equal to 5 x1 equal to 5 by 4 that is 1.25 meter 
Now x1 equal to 1.25 meter. So what is the x2? X2 will be what is the x2? X2 will be 5 minus 1.25 that is 3.75. So this is the answer. This is the answer. So here we have to consider the what is the distance travel for success 60 seconds. That is if first drop travels for 2 seconds, then second drop travels for 3 seconds because for every uh, time interval t second, one drop emits from the from the tab. So if first drop travels for 2 seconds, then second drop travels for t second. So um, now that we know the distance travel, distance travel for free fall body after every t second, after every t second, distance travel equal to is in the form 1 is to 3. So we get x1 plus x2 equal to 5. So x2 equal to 3x1 because from this we get 3x1 total x1 equal to this. Now x2 will be 5 minus 1.25. Repeat the problems once again. A particle E moves in the XY plane with velocity this, Vx equal to this and Vy equal to 2. If it passes through the point x equal to 14 and y equal to 4 at t equal to 2 seconds, the equation of the path is which? So here 2 14 and y equal to 4 at t equal to 2 seconds. Vx equal to 8t minus 2 and Vy equal to 2. This, these are givens. From this, from this we have to write the equation. Okay. Now, dx. Dx means what? Dx by dt. So dx by dt equal to eight t minus two. This is given. Now, from this we can find x. So dx equal to dt this and integration this. So, x equal to we get plus a constant term, suppose c1. Now, we have to find the constant term because giving when t equal to 2, x equal to 14, giving. So, we put here 14 equal to 4 into 4 minus 4 plus c1. That is 12, c1 equal to 2. That is c1 equal to 2, okay. So from this we get c1 equal to 2. This is the next vy equal to 2. So vy equal to 2. Now dy by dt. dy by dt equal to 2. dy equal to 2 dt. Indicate this. So y equal to 2 into t plus c2. Here also a constant term present C2. Now now give me y equal to 4 at t equal to 2. So put here. So C2 equal to 0. Now what is what we get? Y equal to 2t. So y equal to 2t t equal to this. Now put we, we get the equation x equal to this.
we get the equation x equal to c1 equal to this. We get the equation x equal to plus c1, c1 equal to 2. Now, what is this? y equal to 2t. So, t equal to y by 2. t equal to, we have to eliminate t. So, t equal to y by 2 put here. 2t two equal to y plus 2. That is y square minus y plus 2. y square minus y plus 2. This is the answer. The oriental and and vertical displacement of a particle moving along a cut line are given by Time after which its velocity vector velocity vector makes an angle makes an angle of 45 degree 45 degree with the horizontal each 0 0.5 second b 1 second c 2 second d 1.5 second i i repeat the problem once again the horizontal and vertical the horizontal and vertical displacement of a particle moving along a cut line are given by x equal to this and y equal to this time after which its velocity vector makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal is this now here we have to find first velocity 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 x component of velocity y component of velocity we get from this here, uh, equation x equal to given 5t so bx equal to dx by dt so this is equal to 5 now y equal to this so by equal to we get dy by dt from this we get 40 plus 1 okay dy by dt equal to 40 plus 1 this is 5 and this is this now what is the velocity so velocity equal to vx we know in plane by into j this so this is 5i plus 40 plus 1 into j now here the velocity vector makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal the picture will be suppose this is x and this is y this is x and this is y so velocity vector makes velocity 5i plus 40 plus j velocity vector suppose this and it's make an angle 45 degree the horizontal this is 45 degree now what is this this is vy if this is velocity v then this is vy and this is vx vx i is this vyj is this so 10 45 degree we have we get 10 45 degree equal to vy by vx so from this we get vy equal to vx vi means what vi means this and vx means this so 40 plus 1 equal to 5 so that is t equal to 1 second so from this we get 1 second this is the answer the relation between time and displacement x is t equal to beta x or alpha beta are constant what is the retardation what is the retardation of the body
the relation between time question i repeat once again the relation between time and displacement is given this for alpha beta are constant what is the retardation of the body now here so solution t equal to this now we, this is the t is the function of x so first we derivative with respect to x t is the function of x so first derivative with respect to x dt dx equal to alpha into 2x plus beta so now reciprocal this dx by dt equal to 1 by 2 alpha x plus beta that is v equal to 2 alpha x plus beta all to the power minus 1 now velocity equal to this so again if we so acceleration first with acceleration find acceleration acceleration equal dv by dt that is dy dt of v v equal to so this equal to we write d by d d by dx d by dx of into dx by dt dx by dt so this is equal to minus 1 2 alpha x plus beta hold the minus 2 dx by dt equal to v so now 1 by this equal to we get this this equal to v so this is minus 1 v to the power minus this square into b now what is the derivative of this derivative of this equal to this into this into 2 alpha 2 alpha so that is the derivative of this equal to this now minus put this here velocity equal to this so put here minus 2 alpha v square into v that is minus 2 alpha v q this is the answer minus 2 alpha v q minus 2 alpha v q this will be the retardation at a speed v stopped stop in a certain when the when the brakes produce a acceleration a e I repeat the problem once again. A car moving at a speed v is stopped in a certain distance when the brake he breaks produce a deceleration a. If the speed of the car was n p, what must be the deceleration of the car to stop it in the same distance and in the same time? Distance and time will be same. Distance and time will be same. Suppose. The distance and time of the same. So suppose here velocity equal to zero and the distance uh, is x, distance is x, and time is also a t. So the, the speed is here v. So what is the equation of this? Equation of the motion of the, this car equal to v square equal to v. This is the final final velocity square equal to initial velocity square minus two a into uh, x. A, because a is the deceleration so we get here x equal to v square by 2a now now 
if the speed of the car was nb what must be the deceleration now the speed the speed is nb so again we use the final velocity become zero this here initial velocity here initial velocity is nb initial velocity as nb so nd square minus 2 into what must be the deceleration deceleration we have to write this into distance x is same now put here so a, a dash equal to we get n square b square by 2x 2x so this becomes n square b square by 2 into x x equal to b square by 2a cancel so 2 to cancel that is the answer become n square a n square a so this is the answer n square a Okay, here retardation is different. Distance will be same. Distance will be same. Uh, so retardation have to be changed. First, right one equation, and next, right for second case, second stage. That is second stage. That is when the speed is nb. When the speed is nb, uh, what is the deceleration? When the speed is nb, final velocity zero. Distance travel also same. So retardation, that is deceleration, have to be changed. This is a dash. So write this equation and put x this at here. Put x this at here because we have to eliminate the x. We have to eliminate the distance x. We have to eliminate the distance x because the answer is in the form of a and a. We have to eliminate the x. The distance x and time p time here no function of time. Distance you take the first distance x. So, uh, so write the equation in terms of x. Now x is not given in the answer. So you have to eliminate the distance x. Bullet losses. Losses 1 by 20 of its velocity. Of its velocity in passing. In passing through one plank. Passing through one plank. What is the minimum? What is the minimum number of lengths required? What is the minimum number of lengths required to stop the bullet? Answer is 5, 10, 11, 15. I repeat the problem once again. A bullet loses 120th of its velocity in passing through one plank. What is the minimum number of planks required to stop the bullet? Suppose this is a plank tank and the bullet enters with velocity u and losses 1 by 20th of its velocity. Losses 1 by 20. So final velocity becomes u minus u by 20. That is u by 20 losses so final velocity becomes u minus u by 20 now if the if the breadth of the one plank is x so what is the retardation retardation offered by the plank what is the retardation produced here if the retardation is a suppose a equal to retardation retardation so what is the equation equation becomes v square equal to v square minus 2a into x and what is the v? v equal to x so u square into 19 square by 400 2x equal to u square 1 minus 361 by 400 this is the one equation now if the final velocity becomes zero. Now in second stage, suppose we have to record in second stage, suppose n planks is required. N planks is required. So n planks. What is the distance of the n plank? Distance will be nx. If distance is x, so distance will be nx. Okay. Now here velocity is zero and 
u initial velocity u final velocity zero now what is the equation retardation become same because same planks same repeated planks are used so retardation offered by each plank that is total average retardation here average retardation will be same average retardation will be same so what is the equation u square equal to u square minus 2a into nx this is this is the equation so v equal to 0 u square minus 2a x now we use n into 2x what is 2x 2x equal to this so u square so this is 39 by 400 now now n equal to 400 by 39 so 39 uh, that means if 40 then it becomes 10 so greater than 10 so number becomes number is greater than 10 in here greater than 10 so we have to we have to take 11 numbers of plank 11 planks so we have to take 11 planks if we take 10 planks then the velocity cannot be zero before velocity here suppose zero if we take 10 number planks 10 planks then velocity cannot be zero because we have to take 11 planks because n greater than 10 means we have to take 11 planks okay this is the answer and and is at is at corner of a is that corner of a cubical cubical rooms of site a that and can move with a constant with a constant speed u the minimum time the minimum time required to reach minimum time required to reach the farthest corner the farthest corner of the cube is each option 3a by u now i repeat now i repeat the problem once again i repeat the problem once again a and and d that is corner of a cubicle rooms of side a the end can move with a constant speed u the minimum time required to reach the farthest corner of the cube so this is a suppose this is a room this is a cubical room a and start from here and want to reach at the opposite corner so how way he can move so that the distance mean distance will be minimum if distance will be minimum then time taken will be minimum so students think generally the end moves this way a a a that is a a a 3 a by u 3 a by u is not answer distance travel a a a is not answer so at what way the end can move so that the distance will be minimum the path will be like this way the path will be like this way so from this to he reach at mid side mid mid point of the side and next from this to this he moves this so this is the minimum distance a b c now so minimum distance is equal to a b plus b c now what is the a b a b will be if we consider this this is a and this is a by 2 because b point is b is midpoint of the side b is midpoint of side so this becomes a by 2 this is a so from pythagoras theorem we have a b square equal to a square plus a by 2 whole square which is equal to 5 a square by 4 that is a b equal to root over 5 a by 2 now again this 
this is a and this is a by 2 so again we get this equal to root over 5 by a by 2 so a b equal to and this equal to this so total distance is root over 5 a and the time taken t equal to distance by velocity that is root over 5 a by u so this is the answer this is the answer the path travel will be this way so this path will be the minimum distance this path will be the minimum distance student this is the end of the class to get such type of video subscribe my channel okay thank you